Welcome. I'm Albert, your Reiki master and practitioner. And this is Reiki with Albert. Okay, so a lot has happened and we're gonna talk about panic attacks, having a panic attack and how to deal with it. And also how to get healed. We're gonna heal you from panic attacks today, okay? I'm sending you healing, love, divine love, peace, happiness, and to calm you down from your panic attacks. Getting that tingling feeling. Okay, so without further ado, how are you all doing? A lot has happened to me, but I have power, I have a determination, I'm determined, I'm confident, I'm persistent. You can do the same as well. Now I'm about to run out the door, <laughs> but I was outside gardening and, you know, yesterday I, you know, I mowed my entire place, and, which I usually do in, in you know, like, because it's, it's big, it's a lot to mow. And I use electricity. You plug it in and have a cord behind it. It's like vacuum your lawn. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Then I take a hose to take away the clippings because the ground is wet. So when it cuts it, the wet grass shoots up, clogs up, and you have to clear it out. So this is the snake plant I was telling you about. I have an outside plant growing out of the ground. So I put it in here. I want it to grow inside the house. I already gave it my secret formula for fertilizer. Mm -hmm. My stuff really works because outside everything <laughs> grows so fast, including the grass and the neighbor's grass. So it happened to get sprayed on their yard too. Mm -hmm. So this is it. So this is a snake plant. They have another name for this, but the other name, the other name is complicated. So this is a snake plant. These are good to have in your house, mm -hmm. along with the palm and the bamboo plant that I showed you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These have their own trunk, so they absorb. They can. Um, have water retained. Mm -hmm. But I fertilized it. I gave it um, water and I gave it um, mm -hmm. oh, the little fertilizer I use is liquid base. But it changes the pH. It gives it what, it, what it's missing. Food, energy. So here's a snake plant. Hey snake plant, say hi to everybody. Hi. Right. Let's heal together with the snake plant. Take a deep breath. We want to take control of our panic attacks, relax ourselves when we get into a state where we kind of can't control our anxiety or our stress, you know, and you just kind of get, you just kind of just can't control it, just let go, you know, it just, it's hard to describe it, but everybody gets these things. When too much is happening at once and you can't control yourself. Right? Okay. So, this plant. All you have to do with this plant is water it, cut up any dead ends, and that's it. It'll grow. Get the Himalayan salt crystal out here. Follow the light, pure um, Himalayan salt crystal. Oh, my lamp. Okay. But this has um, a tea. A tea tree. Um, one of these things. I got them cheap. If you see them cheap, buy them. But they're usually expensive. Uh, but they're good to get. These. And you drop it in there. They don't last long. I don't know if you can get an hour out of them. But it's good. This is going to heal, purify the air. You see a lot of uh, practitioners and um, masters have this. On their channel, they have it like down, hidden down on the shelf. I don't know why. It's, it's supposed to it purifies the air and help heal you. Clearly, it does what these plants do, but on this basis. Now, to activate it, you have to light it or turn it on. I'll put it over here. So, like I said today, we're working on a panic attack. 
we're gonna keep you calm, keep you still, keep you stabilized, keep you relaxed, keep you staying calm, staying calm. Come on, follow me. Staying calm, staying calm. Because you want to stay calm. You don't want to ex accelerate more panic. More, you want the heart? Heal your heart. Healing to your heart. Sending power and life force energy to your heart. Sending healing to your heart. Sending life force energy and healing to your heart. Cleanse, clear, remove all blockages. Make your heart flow. Sending healing thoughts to your top of your head. Cleanse, clean, remove all blockages and negative energy out of that air. Because when you get hit with negative energy, it's my ongoing problem with the certain uh, mobile company. Finally get to talk to somebody in the United States that's supposed to help. But it's a shame what they do. But um, here we don't talk about that stuff. Okay? Here we say positive. Negative people, you don't live near them. No negative people. You stay positive. Anybody negative to you, flee. Get away. Don't stick around. You don't need that in your life. You need positive people. People who are there for you. That stand up behind you and say, hey, I'm here for you. Not the opposite of way around. You lost your job. What do they do? I'm getting away from you. And then call you that L word, which looks like this. I'm just like showing you what it looks like. That's terrible. If anybody did that to you, don't anybody even try to talk your way out of their, their convictions. They, that's, that's how they are. That's the true color. You find somebody that loves you, wants to be with you, and keep you safe. No matter how poor you get or financially um, stressed you get or, or whatever it is going on in your life right now. You got too many bills and you have student loan. It's out of control, student loan. And this, you, there's nothing you can do. You can only send what you have. If you don't have it, then you know that's it. The whole thing is you just have to live for the now. Live today. And try to make today a better, special day. Don't live for tomorrow. Tomorrow's not here yet. You can't go backwards. The past is gone. You move forward in life. You go forward. You can't go back. Yet, yeah, maybe in the past, things were okay. You you had, you had were financially secured and all that stuff like that. It's not your fault. Everybody's in the same boat. Okay? Everybody, it's called everybody's strapped for cash. Your credit cards are max. Everything is upside down. There's nothing you can do. But you can do one thing for yourself. Believe in yourself. Accept yourself. And understand that you're not alone. I'm here for you 24-7. I read all your comments. I respond to them. I give you my emo those emojis. Like the heart with the eyes. Or gearbox. He has gears around him. Then you have cloudy yeah, I, I made those myself. Mm -hmm. And then you have Lightning Bolt. That's Archangel Michael with eyes. So whatever I give you, it's it's good stuff. It's positive stuff. It's not a joke. We're here. We're serious about healing. Well, I am. I can't speak for other masters and practitioners. You know, they're doing their own thing. Yeah. But you know, I'm helping you. Yeah. I heal myself. I might come in yesterday from working out in that yard, mowing that lawn. It was on like almost eight o'clock at night. Yeah, well, I had to get done. I had to get done. It's done. I was dead, tired. Off my feet. I was completely drained. But I am determined to function. Ch jump in the shower, make something to eat. Oh, oh yes, I'm on a low carb diet. I did. I don't know if I mentioned that in the previous video. I think I did. And there's a uh, a video on uh, Albert's voice show. I put it at the bottom on the main of this page. So you have three. Uh, you should have three icons. One is the coach, one is the chef, and one is the uh, the doctor chap. That's the acting. This is real. The chef is real. The tech channel I have is real. And the coaching is real too. And those are real channels. The only one that's not real, well, acting is is the, the medical doctor. 
but I grew up in a medical family. My mother was a healer, a medicine woman. She passed it over to me. So technically speaking, I would be a medicine man. Why too? Because I had a lot of herbs and spices and stuff to help take care of a lot of uh, remedies. You can call it home remedies, you know? Same thing with the plants. Now this tree, this palm is gonna grow better. I gave it more dirt, you know, gardening, pot soil. That one too. And I fertilized it with my stuff that changed. It changes the pH and it changes and increases the root to grow. And it has sugar, so it, it helps us promote. And also has stuff in it to protect us so bugs that don't come near it. Mm -hmm. And you just, the same stuff can be sprayed on the yard. Now, it don't smell that great. Just remember, it's working. I'm helping nature. My yard didn't look too good. I don't want to spend all this money for wheat, um, fertilizer. I make my own. I have something, I have a recipe for making a, a something you spray on and kill mosquitoes so they don't come near your place. I haven't made it yet because it, it has two things that I am against to, to buy. And that's a problem. And those two things. If I use those two ingredients, then I have no problems. But anyway, back to us here. Take a moment of peace and silence. Heal our panic attacks. Calm ourselves down. Relax ourselves. doing it. Okay. It's all going to work out. It's going to be fine. There, there. It's going to be fine. You might be crying. You may be worried. I'm here for you. Relax. Calm down. Calm down. Get that tingling. Again. Feeling that energy coming through my legs up to my arms. They heal you. To emotionally heal you. To physically heal you. Here we got, um, whoops, see. Here we got black turmeric to protect you, remove negative energy, to ground you. Here we got um, rose quartz, emotional, also for your panic attacks. Mm -hmm. And we got the healing stone, and this it, it, it's, it's quartz, but it's, it's milky quartz, okay. And we need one more stone. This is a rough cut of uh, Amethyst. They don't say these words too much, only on these videos. I just know what the stones can do for us. And they can do a lot of things. The stones can help heal you emotionally. And the best one out of the bunch, sunny night to help you, to help you sleep at night. Okay? Did you guys get, everybody here get one? I hope so. Make sure it's pure. Okay? Okay, we got our stones to help heal us, to put us in a complete state of peace. There won't be no tapping or any chiming or all that because we're trying to take the panic tank, be gone, get it out of our minds, let it go away. You don't need the panic attacks in your life right now. You need peace and tranquility. You need healing.
these two stones, angel stones, these two stones are very powerful stones. Can I show you? If you see them, get grab them. These are like blue, like blue. The two of them. These are very expensive. I don't know how much they are today, but they're expensive when I got them. I only got about nine of them. I only needed nine. And this one is polished. See how it's this one is in its rough state. And this one is polished. See? It's more smoother. People prefer this. But like I said, it's not as strong, but I couldn't get this in a rough state. I have the names of these written down. I'll post them. Oh, there it is. Let's look for this. This is very soothing. You know, sometimes it's good to talk to somebody. Thank you for listening. And thanks even for coming, tuning in to me today. And thank you for those of you who have subscribed. We're up to 1,600. 1, we need less than 400 to go. Come on, we can do it, everybody. And in return, you are guaranteed either one or two videos per day. Okay? I don't want to overwhelm you with videos. Now, others might just give you one or two per week. Um, I'm talking about every day. We have to heal every day. It's not just out of the blue. <laughs> you got to heal every day, twice a day. You can meditate. Just stop. Whatever you're doing, stop. If you can get yourself in a yoga position, good on you. That means your body's flexible. If you can't, just make do. Leave a lie in your bed, slap on the couch, whatever it is. Close your mind or you jump in the shower. Open up your third eye and look. Mm -hmm. I did something on the uh, on my um, medical channel, right? And I had these these mental, when you're in a mental state, the doctor checks you to see how your mental state, and there's little splotches. I never used those before on that channel. And and you're the patient and I'm showing you and I ask you what you see. And I can tell you what, I never I went to a doctor to see that. I sent some visual, I see a whole bunch of things in there. I see angels. I see a smiley face. I see a teddy bear. I see all kind of stuff. That, yeah. Because I can read through the lines. I can see. If you're visual, good for you. That means you can see what I have. I have a picture of a, a, a creature that's on the ocean, on top of the ocean at a beach. People said that there's, that's, a, that's a duck flying. No, it's not. <laughs> that's no duck. And that's a good way to tell if you're visual. If you have the, the power of, the, of second sight and to see with your third eye, your brown eye, that's where it is in here, brown eye. The mental eye, you can call it that. Because it's, it's actually the brain eye. These are your regular eyes. They're connected to your nervous system, your cranial nervous system. That's what I do. I do cranial nerve healing. I do the eyes. I do the ears. I do the mouth. I do the nose. I do the senses. Smell. Taste. Check your nervous thing. I come from a medical family, so and I did study to become a respiratory therapist. I'm also CPA certified uh, CPR you know, and um, first aid. Come in handy. But anyway, hey, I'm here for you. Just remember that I'm here to. I talk to you. I'm glad you like that. I'll do that more. Talk to you and heal you at the same time. Give you some facts. The coach channel, I tell them they need to come here for healing. If they have broken up with a relationship, they need to come here. Okay, there I can teach them what to look for and what not to look for. You know, it's nothing against nobody. I'm, I'm covering everybody. Boy, girl, uh, different genders, different partners, all, all that's covered, and people who are divorced. You know, we need to co cover things like that. When I get the feeling to do it, you know, that's a tough subject to cover. The dating and the relationship and life, it's hard. Here I can do the Reiki because I know what to do. And it's, we all suffer from negative energy, anxiety, stress. People get under your skin, you know, like natty. It's like they're like, they're like this to you. you know, and get away, get away like a little gnat. And it's constantly, and you can't, that was, that you don't, see people like that, uh-uh. person's supposed to love you, you know. Hold your hand. 
walking like that. Loving, you, you reach over to the hand. If they ever go, you reach over to the and they go, what are you doing? I'm trying to tell you. But if they ever say that to you, you go reach in and hold, they go back and, what are you doing? Did I tell you to hold my hand? See, that's where you gotta watch out. That they don't love you. Why would they say negative to you? Did I tell you that you could hold my hand? That's bad. Now, to a man, a woman said that to a man, the man will feel hurt. Now, if they're tough men, they brush it off because they can't feel love. They don't know what love is. They only know the bad stuff, love. You know? I know, it's, it's a shame, but that's all. Uh, if they were born, raised by two loving parents that show them love, mother and father. Sometimes you can't have mother and father, and it, you know, it's just the, the mom or the dad's raising him. He does the best he can. He can teach you uh, how to be independent, he can teach you courage and leadership. While your mom would have teach you love, caring, and you know, feminine ways. You know, or you know, give you that what the, the the father can't give you. She's giving you nurturing. He's giving you uh, leadership, um, um, uh, direction. You know, that's what he's giving you. She's giving you nourishing. She's the soft side. He's the tough side. You see how that works? If you don't have that in a relationship, you know, if you don't have that well, growing up, it's hard. When you get to an adult, you're confused. You might say, what is love? I don't have love. And you play love songs all day and you still don't have that love. It, the whole thing is that, you know, then you get into a, uh, you might get into a panic attack over something. Somebody said something, somebody did something at work or something. And you need to get out. You just, when that happens to your work, run. Go run, find a quiet place. I don't care if it's a closet for your children. The supply closet. Go find something. Or go to the bathroom. But sometimes the bathroom's not secure. Too many people come in and out. You know. Just go someplace that you know in the building that nobody's going to bother you. And sit there for a while. And then they ask you where you were. You were throwing up in the bathroom. Oh, well, I know you don't want to lie. It's true. Well, make up, just make up something. I mean, you have to make up something. Because if you tell them exactly that you weren't working for them, and you were just sitting down thinking things. They got, they got to think you're absent-minded or you're daydreaming is another word. So you have to be careful. Because a lot of you go through a lot of stress at work. I know. Especially if you're in retail. Customers say, hey, where is this? Where do you find this? Can you help me with this? Can you tell me where it is? And people don't want to read the signs. <laughs> people don't want to look for themselves. They want you to do it. And now robots are coming in. So the robot will do it. Hopefully, it doesn't rebel. But listen, it's it's tough. You gotta you get that anxiety attack or panic attack or whatever it is that's gonna happen to you. Whatever triggers that panic attack. Oh my god! Oh god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What's gonna happen? Oh no! What's gonna? Oh my! I can't pay the bills. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I gotta hide. And you curl up and and you hide in one place in the in the room. And you hide in a corner. But that's how you know when you were a child. That's what you do as an adult. You hide. To, that, to you, that's a safe place. You don't want to answer the door. They'll be banging on the door. We know you're in there. Open the door. You know, like that. Because they're after you for the money. And you owe maybe rent. Man, the landlord wants his rent. And you owe maybe two or three months. And he you know, evict you. You know, trying, you know, like that. That's why you have to plan ahead. Get your pay. Say, I need this much money for the rent, this much money for food, this much money for uh, gasoline, or whatever it is you need for your vehicle, or your bus pass or travel. So you separate your money. Don't just take the money and have fun with it. You have fun with it, you can put some money away to save. Right? Put some of money in the bank and put some money hidden in a shoe, hidden in the freezer. I mean, people put money in the weirdest place. Just remember it's in there. That's why you should forget about it. But listen, you, you have to do whatever it takes to stay calm. And so you don't get these panic attacks. And sometimes a trauma event might kick off. Somebody used to hit you a lot. Somebody maybe said something to you like that word. What the hell? You know, constantly. Con you have somebody constantly telling you the L all the time. That person don't love you. I don't care. They'll come back and say, I miss you, I love you. No, that's fake. That's not real love. 
if they really truly love you, they won't call you names. They won't get upset with you so fast. Or they shouldn't get upset. They get upset because that's how they lived. That's how their life was with their family. Wow, I see a, a star. You see a star behind me? Okay, I know though, because I it looks like a star to me. <laughs> but um, last time I think we talked about there was a cat in the face. Do I see anything now? Mm -hmm. I see something over, something over here. See right there where my finger is? I go, I don't know where. <laughs> there. I see something there. It looks like a person look at me. And then with the feather, it looked like they had gray hair. I see an eye looking right at me. And, and, and we're looking at you, looking at you too. Over here. Mm, no, I don't see anything. Each time, it's something different. That's right. An eye is looking at us right now. But listen, you got to feel that healing. Oh, man, I'm getting that, I'm getting that sensation again. Just relax yourself, okay? Yeah. ears. Well, they come in from the ear. When you hear somebody say something to you that's negative, it, it's going to cause trigger something inside you. You want to release that tension that's inside you that builds up that causes you to get that panic attack. And if you just kind of lose it, you have to really calm yourself down. If you feel a panic attack coming up, get out of your chair, head for the bathroom. If you're at your business, Remember to lock your computer before you do it. You gotta feel good about yourself. You gotta heal. You gotta feel. If you want to send me some lavender oil, I need a lot. Okay, I can't find it. I don't know. Ah, uh, yeah, sure, I could order it online. I should add that to my wish list from Amazon. I'll do that next time I get on the computer. Listen, here, I'm dousing you with lavender, make you feel peaceful. And you should take some of it with you. Get a little sprayer, fill it up with lavender and some water. I'll bless it for you right now. This is to help heal, remove negative energy from you. Remove negative energy from you. Take out that negative from you. And that's it. That's all. 
thing. You just take something negative, you don't spread it, it's not the person who you spread around you. And they say, what you doing? Well, I'm removing your negative off me because I don't want your negative energy. I don't want your negative vibes. You need to stay out of my space. If you're going to talk like that, you need to go and talk to yourself. I don't need that in my life right now. I need positive people, people that have my respect, value myself, and care for what I do. And I try to help this company the best I can, and I work very hard in this company. And I don't need somebody like you to try to mess things up for me and with your negative comments and your negative insulations. And ins insulations, whatever. I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> Because that's what they do. They're jealous. They want your job. Some of them might, might want you out of the company. I know a woman, um, she was a foreigner. She came to the United States. She was working at uh, one of the auto plants. I can't say which one. And they ganged up on her. But she was different. She was working hard. She was doing her work, but they were fooling around. She, why should she change for them? Management said, hey, we really need you. But we also need them too. Can you work together? She can't, no, she eventually she had to leave. Can't work in that kind of environment. It's too stressful, too much panic. You get self-absorbed in that mess. That's terrible. Th those, those, yeah. well, she was a woman and it was women attacking her mentally, physically, emotionally. I don't know physically, but it, it was words that they shouldn't be saying that's negative. And the person already is a really emotional wreck. They can't cope with that stuff. Nobody can. You don't want to be emotional wreck. I'm, the next video today will be emotional wreck. A complete emotional wreck. That's uh, someone that's, come, you're really out of, oh, you're crying, you're out of control. You can't control yourself. That has nothing to do with panic attack. That's complete, that's emotional wreck. Some people don't want to even want to talk about emotional wreck. But we'll talk about it in the next video. Hey, thank you. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate your time. And I really appreciate you, you vids. Vids, V-I-S, that's for visitors. And you and subs, I do appreciate you that you took your time to send me a comment and subscribe to the channel. You want to help me, and you help me by subscribing. Okay, that's it. If you want to join and do the membership, that also helps me too. Um, if you want to do super thanks, that helps me as well too. I'm just like you. This is full time for me. This is my yes. This is. I don't want to say it's a job, but it's full time to me. I'd rather do this. I hear I'm in my own world. Out there, it's hard. Oh, they want me out there. But I like doing this. This is the, the medical channel, these two channels. I have passion for that work. And I have passion for this. But I'm a Ricky Master, that's why my job is. Like I went, when I went to the bank. Sure they, I can't show you the person's name. This, this, this uh, she's not telling me her business. <laughs> I do that to people. They do share, but uh, I told her I was a Reiki master. I don't know. I may have mentioned it last time. I can't remember. <laughs> I guess I did. I, can't, I have too much going on, but I know videos have to be made. I did make a promise to all of you to get me to one thousand. You'll have more videos, and sometime we do live stream. Uh, but. Um, these kind of interacting videos with you, telling, going on daily things, make you feel, because that's what everybody should be doing. You know, it's not just like that. No, it's more than that. To heal you, I get, you got to understand your Reiki master or practitioner. Well, Reiki master, practitioner, you know, one teacher. You know, I can, I can teach you Reiki. I can help you. I'm teaching you, basically, too, as well. Yeah. Another 10 years. I'll be a grandmaster, but right now I'm oh, just a master. Yeah. yeah, because my master, my grandmaster, grandmaster, he's 26 years as a master. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, for me, this is my this year anniversary, 10 years for me. But listen, I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you. Okay. Here, the snake 
I have another one of these. I have a lot of these on the property. When I was mowing the lawn, I seen them. I said, oh, God, that's what I need. I don't have to go buy anything. I have it here. Well, my neighbor gave me this. I have it on the property. All I have to do is break one of the, uh, the trunk branches with the roots, put it in the dirt, it'll grow. I have a lot of that here. Well, I asked the neighbors, can I have, when you're trimming your tree, or can I have your branch? Because I can cross pollinate it and grow another tree. I just pulled up uh, one of the mango. The mango's shooting up babies out of the ground. Yeah, into a little pot. So I took it out and make a root. I could sell it, but no, I don't, I don't know. I might, well, I can't keep it in the house. So it'll become a tree <laughs> and have mangoes on it. So. I could plant someplace else. But anyway, I hope, I hope you today, okay? In this session of Reiki, panic, panic attacks be gone, okay? Stay tuned for a next video later on, all right? I'm about to do emotional work. That's it, emotional work. And we'll talk about that and what that means. I had a woman come to me and she was emotional. I had two of them over like that. Holy cow. Yeah, I helped them. And then the palms, I read palms, like this palm here, the lifeline and the other lines, it's how clear you can see them. If you can't see the palms on other people's hands, holy cow. I saw that with one girl. I said, show me your palms. And I, they're like blank. Here it tells you how many children you're gonna have. Yeah, on this side. You got your lifeline and your destiny line. See, mine is clear. If you, if yours look like mine, you don't have nothing to worry about. I'm telling you, sometimes things happen here. I get that tingling again. The power again is racing inside of me. Hold on. Heal. Love. Feel peace in your heart. Love. Feel peace in your heart. 360 degree spiritual shield. I send you protection against your panic attacks. Send your love and divine healing to you. Make your day feel great. Make you feel wonderful. All right? Take care. Bye for now.